So you guys, we'll be working on this PS5 controller. I got some very, very cool ideas that I think I'm gonna do. But first and foremost, we gotta take off the cover piece. So this is where I got like this um, tool set from Amazon and it helps you like take off every little thing as far as the screws and all that. <laughs> So you guys, I just want to be completely honest with you. Taking apart a PS5 controller is very, very difficult. You know what I'm saying? So I put it all back together and we're going to customize it that way. And then if you just saw, I just want to test it out to see if it works. So you guys, the next step is I'm going to be taking red, that red volume tape, and then I'm going to tape up the sides because I'll be customizing like on the handles. So I don't want any paint to get like on the side or on the back side of the controller. <laughs> So after I painted it, I sketched it off camera just because it was hard for me to sketch and record. So now I'm going in with my Posca marker and I'm about to just go crazy on it. As you can see, all I'm doing is just outlining the sketch orange and then I'm filling in the lines with my orange Posca marker. And the next color I'll be using is yellow. Guys, the best part is coming up is where I take the black Posca marker and outline the flames to make the flames really, really pop. <laughs> So you guys, now it's time to do another controller. And this one's gonna be like a slimy drip green. The flame was dope, but y'all gotta see this one though. Y'all might like this one better. So stick around and watch to see what I do to this one. So you guys, to make this slime effect really cool, I'm gonna just use this dark green. So I'm gonna go into where I already painted and just paint it some very dark green.
So you guys, here it go. Now we're about to outline the whole slime with this black Posca marker. And I'm trying to tell you, it makes the whole custom pop when you do this. So you guys, I know y'all wondering, why did I paint this black? See, the PS4 controllers, they're not black, black. They're like darkest grayish. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And what I'm about to do to it, I need it completely black. So you guys, I just got this cool thing from solarcolordust.com. This little thing right here changes colors in the heat. And it changes actually 12 different colors. And it only can be applied on a black surface. This is why I painted this black.
Whoa, hold on. I thought this man was only gonna do PS4 controllers. He doing an Xbox controller? What is that? What is that about? It's time to hydro dip a skateboard. I've never hydro dipped a skateboard ever before. Hold on, it's a little hot outside. We're gonna hydro dip this board. I already taped it up, spray painted it white, sanded it, primed it. Now it's time to hydro. I actually have my cousin out here to help. He ain't really want to talk, but let's get into hydro dipping a skateboard. <laughs> guys for the skateboard we we'll keep it simple we got a cherry and a blue now it's time to spray in the bucket and it's time to hydro dip a skateboard i'm too excited because i'm never ever would have thought that i would hydro dip a skateboard okay i'm doing too much talking let's get back to the video So you guys, this is how the board came out. Man, it came out crazy. Sheesh. Okay, you guys, so the Hydro Dip skateboard is done, but the next one we're using, so we're gonna be using spray paint. This is just one of the many colors I got. And dish detergent. Yes, I said dish detergent. We'll be customizing with spray paint and dish detergent. DIY hack. So 
show you guys we finally got all the colors laid out on the skateboard now it's time for the dish detergent i know it sounds a little off but you gotta wait till the end because it's gonna look great fantastic Just so when I paint later, it's going to be smoother and it's going to be very, very great. So you guys, we're going to be doing a Spongebob themed skateboard. So I just took a picture of Spongebob from online and just cut it out. Hey, actually, my printer was out of ink. So don't try to don't try to come for me like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a little bit yellow, it's a little bit white. Look, printer ran out of ink. But all I'm doing is basically just tracing over it just to get my uh, sketch right. Um, you can do this with shoes, uh, cases, AirPods. I mean, you can do this with anything. This is a technique that I see a lot of artists out here use. Just take a picture and then just trace over and then just draw it just like that. So you guys, now it's time to go in with the Posca markers, man. It's time to really, really bring this sketch to life. Um, we about to really go in right here. This is the thing. This got to be one of the um, one of the most detailed customs I've ever done, really. So just just sit back and just watch how I really make this all come together. So you guys, as you can see, it's all coming together, but you just gotta keep on watching. Just because like, when I do the black lines and I just, I start really coloring this in, it's gonna really, really start popping. Now it's time to make those black sexy lines you guys now it's time it's like the black lines really just make this whole thing pop and y'all see like because I'm, I'm gonna make a thick like black lines later on it's gonna make it really really pop
So you guys, now we're about to do Patrick. I had sketched him off camera just because like, just sketching takes a long time, especially trying to record and do it at the same time. So we're about to go in, we're about to just go in with Patrick because we had to add Patrick to the skateboard, it's only right. <laughs> guys one of the last few steps of this is i'm going to be um painting like this kind of bottom uh piece of the skateboard like making it like sand like that's what i want to do because i want to put this part like they're walking like running on sand basically <music> So you guys, we are working on this Xbox X controller. I got the toolkit set. Um, I need this. I really do need this to take apart the Xbox controller this time. It's not complicated as the PS5. So um, that's what I'm doing right now is taking it apart so I can customize the top piece. So for the design, we're gonna go with the Louis Vuitton for the first controller. I've always wanted to do a Louis Vuitton controller since I've been customizing controllers. This is gonna come out very, very sweet. I believe it. So you guys, what you see me mixing right now is Angelus Fire Red, Angelus Too Hard, and then Angelus Too Thin. You need the Angelus Too Hard so the paint can actually stick to plastic. So 
show you guys there we have it a louis vuitton xbox controller this came out really good now it's time to the second controller let's go So for the second controller, we're going to actually be doing a Spider-Man custom in honor of the new movie that just came out. You guys, this is going to look very cool after I finish it. So the thing I'm actually putting on this controller is the Spider-Man, like his logo. And I did that with the stencil. A crazy video i just want y'all to uh, sit back relax enjoy we about to get into these speakers man it's crazy i got cool ideas all that being said let's get it. what's up you guys i can't believe we are customizing speakers i really can't believe it so the very first step you see me doing is basically i am sanding down the part that i am painting you must sand it down before painting just so the paint can really adhere to the surface so you guys, after I sanded, I actually sketched this off camera. It was very hard for me to sketch this on camera because it's like, as I'm sketching it, I'm making some mistakes and I have to erase it and I have to go over and do this and that. But all I'm doing now is taking my Posca pens and basically just coloring in the sketch. I'm doing actually a wave design. I think this is gonna look really cool. Make sure y'all really look at the whole process because it's very detailed. <music> I know some of y'all thinking, Xavier, that's not a wave. You just got to keep watching it. Keep watching the video because it's all going to come together. It's just this part. I have to just color in the blue and then I'm going to get to like the lighter color blue. And oh my goodness, you guys, you just got to keep watching the video. It's going to be so cool how it turns out at the end. <laughs> So you guys, now we got the blue marker. Now we about to go in, we about to detail the waves. This is starting to look really good. Just keep on watching the video. It's gonna start coming all together. Okay, you guys so the next step is i'm actually taking my blue marker and i'm doing these lines because it's going to like create these waves like 
th this is some real like detail kind of work that I'm doing and I'm really proud of how it's really coming out right now but you still gotta just keep watching it because it's gonna really come all together <laughs> Okay, guys so now it's time to do the sky and we're gonna do the sky like a like an orange type sun I, like almost like the sun is kind of coming down type vibes that's that's kind of what I want to do so that's why I'm using kind of like this color and basically all I'm doing is painting in the sky Thank you. 